Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number seven on how to develop that great and successful engineering career. Okay, and what we're talking about in the last few lessons and we'll continue to talk about today is having success with that job interview because man, the, the interview, it is so important. It's that sort of make or break your career type of thing. And so I think it was in lesson five, we talked about how to do a good job interviewing. In lesson number six, we talked about just deadly mistakes not to make, not to make those mistakes in the interview that would just, you would just absolutely blow it if you did those. Make sure you go back and watch those lessons and today I'm just going to take a few minutes and talk about some just like really hard interview questions I mean the questions that I would find the most difficult to answer and you need to kind of think about them before you go in there and you need to have a good answer for them because this is one of those that can kind of uh, can it, it's a question that things could go really wrong if you haven't thought about it and have a good answer and again I bring these questions up because they're ones that I think are kind of hard to, to deal with and I think probably the hardest question that you're going to be asked if uh, if you're right out of college you will not be asked this question but if you have a job and you are interviewing for another job the hardest question and maybe the most important question that you're going to have to answer is why do you want to leave your existing job okay that is a really tough one because I'm telling you if you complain about your existing job and you say that the company sucks or if you say that your boss sucks or if you say that your co-workers suck I'm gonna kinda think that maybe it's you okay maybe you're just unappreciative maybe you just can't get along with people maybe you have unrealistic expectations so if you say something like that it's really bad so whatever you do when you're asked this question don't speak anything evil about who you presently work for because if you talk bad about them I'm gonna think that you're gonna be talking bad about me okay so so that's kind of a really hard question to answer and, and like if you ask me that question this is probably how I would answer it with something like this like oh man I, I gotta be honest with you I really love my existing job it's just like I really owe that company a lot. They gave me a shot at being an engineer and in the last five years, man, I've just professionally grown and I've learned so much from the guys that I work with and from my boss who's kind of been a mentor to me. But, but even as much as I love uh, the company that I work for, man, I really want to work for you guys because it's kind of like the major leagues. You know, it's, it's like my chance to go from the minor leagues to the major leagues. And I've just been so impressed with how bold you guys have been, been with your product releases and with your product development. And it's just like, man, as much as I love my job, I just love to be on the team here. And, you know, you know, Dr. Snigowski, I've been following him for a number of years and I know that he works here and man, just the, just the chance to work with a team like this. That. Okay, you see, you kind of get where I'm going with it. You, 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 you sh express appreciation for the job you have, but then you say, what is it about the job that you're interviewing for that would that you would pull you out of this job you love? Because, man, I just don't want another malcontent in my company. So I find that one to be a hard one and one you got to be mindful for because that sort of can be a showstopper if you're not mindful in how you answer that question. The other question that I find uh, very hard and very awkward and one you want to think about and be kind of care careful about is uh, the question in an interview of what are your salary expectations. <clears throat> okay, because it's like I said in the last video, I don't bring, if, if I'm interviewing for a job, I should not bring up s salary. Like if I'm trying to get a job, I should not bring up salary during the interview. But the problem is if they bring it up and say, what is the salary expectation? Because man, if you say, if you answer that question wrong, and you don't know what they pay in that company. If the average, like let's say your boss that you're gonna be working for, let's say that, that the boss is making $80,000 a year, the person you're interviewing with, and he says, what is your salary expectation? And you say 105,000, that would be a bad answer. 
that you think your expectation is you should make more than him. But let's say that the company you're interviewing with, what if you didn't know this and the and the average salary was 135,000 and they said, what's your salary expectation? You say, well, I'm hoping to get $50,000 a year. Well, that's gonna be kind of awkward, right? And so I try to, mm, I don't know, I try to, I would try to answer the question sort of like this, that that really, man, that the most important thing to me in a job is to have a great group of people that I'm working with that has clearly defined goals and then a good strategy for reaching it. I'm really looking for that, that dynamic work environment, and that's the most important thing to me. And it's what I would hope is, as my future employer, you would see what I could bring to your company and that you would come to the table with your best possible offer. Mainly, I'm looking for the job environment, but I do have to eat. I do have to support my family. What I would hope is, is that you would look at what my skills are. You would look at what I could bring to the table, and you would bring me your most competitive offer. Okay, you see, I'd kind of answer it like that, and I'm not trying to be wishy-washy, but I just think it's a, I think it's a hard question to answer. And so those are the two hardest questions that I think that you, you face in a job interview. So besides all the good advice in those last couple of videos, I think that you should think about these two questions. Why are you leaving your present job, and what are your salary expectations? And so I hope these are helpful. I hope you'll think about these things. Leave comments below. If you like these videos, give us a little encouragement with the thumbs thumbs up, think about subscribing to the channel, think about sharing these videos. Okay, this is Paul McCorder with TopTechBoy.com and I will talk to you guys later.